This is Hyatt Ziva Los Cabos, and it is the most popular hotel in Cabo. It is one of the best, if not the best, all-inclusive in the area. I mean, Hyatt Ziva is one of the best all-inclusive brands in the world. We finally have a Hyatt on the channel. This is Coolest Luxury Hotels, Hyatt Ziva Los Cabos. All right, Hyatt Ziva Los Cabos. I need to bring you up to speed a little bit before I officially start this video. So when I first got here, I was met with a welcome drink, which really hit the spot on this hot day. And I was also met with a lot of warm hellos, how are yous, and smiles. It's always great to be hit with good service right off the bat. This lobby, by the way, is striking. It is beautiful. It corridors into the start of the property where you have beautiful, broad, sweeping views of the pools, the beach, and the ocean. My room wasn't ready yet, I was a little hungry, so I decided to venture down to Baja Bar, which is located next to the adults only pool. Yes, there's an adults only pool here on property. I had probably the freshest nachos of all time, and that strawberry mojito was delicious. Now I'm in my room, and this is the cheapest room available here at Hyatt Ziva. This is the Ocean View Master King, and for the cheapest room available, it's kind of impressive. Two big standouts, number one, the bathroom. It has a gigantic shower. You could probably fit 10 people in there. It has wall-to-wall -wall marble and a huge open air window that overlooks the entire room. The balcony is my second favorite part. It is also large. It's also pretty private as well. It overlooks both the main pools, the beach, and the ocean. If you wanna know all the details or if you're looking for a complete room tour, check out my channel or check out the link in the description below. All right, so let me quarterback my trip for you. Here's the plan. Tonight, we're going to ease into things. I'm going to get it started at the very best restaurant on site, the French restaurant, Bon Vivant. Tomorrow is going to be a big day. It's going to be a pool day. I'm going to check out the two pools that are right outside my balcony. The day after that is going to be a beach day. I am so curious what the beaches here at Hyatt Ziva are like. I think on my final day, I'm going to kind of keep it open, but I want to definitely check out the adults only pool and see what else is going on on property. There's also an Italian restaurant. There's a Japanese restaurant. There's a buffet. There is so much to see here on property. This is Hyatt Ziva Los Cabos. Let's get it started. So I have to give it to you straight. Last night, dinner, Bon Vivant, was amazing. It was one of the best dinners I've had all year. And mind you, I just stayed in Las Vegas for 30 days and ate at some of the best restaurants in the world. Bon Vivant was surprisingly warm and intimate for an all-inclusive restaurant. It had really bold contemporary decor with purples and kind of quirky artifacts. It goes without saying, the food was both beautiful and delicious. I'd say I probably only had one better meal at an all-inclusive hotel thus far, and that was excellent Putacana's Shea Isabel. All right, so it's my first official full day here. Let's get it started at the pool. So this is the main pool. This is where all the energy and activity is. There are games, there's music. Uh, this is where everyone seems to congregate. Uh, there is a cool little Coco Loco bar over there. That's where I started my morning. I got a pink Starburst. And you know I have no problem ordering you know, fruity, deliciously sugary, cool looking drinks. But I must say, even this one is putting my masculinity at risk a little bit. So I'm gonna chill here for a little bit. And I believe there is an infinity pool that neighbors this pool. I'm headed there next.
So this is the infinity pool at Hyatt Ziva. I like this so much better than the main pool. There's still energy, there's still action. There is definitely a crowd, but it's a bit more subdued and a bit more tranquil than the hectic main pool. The swim up bar behind me is a great spot to quench your thirst and marinate for a little while. The infinity edge behind me leads right into the beach and ocean. Almost feels like you're on a beach, but in a pool. It's kind of a weird sensation, but pretty cool. And overall, there's great people watching and fantastic views. I gotta call it like it is, as I always do. The Hyatt Ziva pools are pretty nice. You know I'm not the biggest fan of these family all-inclusives. In fact, quite the contrary but it's actually a really great setup. I had a really great time out there today. If you're a family coming to Hyatt Ziva, I think the pools are gonna give you exactly what you're looking for. I liked how they had two different personalities. There is food right next to the pools. It's interesting. It's kind of a phenomenon how you work up an appetite sitting in the sun all day. I had a giant protein bowl, which was exactly what the doctor ordered. After walking out from the pool, there was also a healthy juice and smoothie bar. It's exactly what I needed as well, sitting in the sun all day. I definitely um, needed to get some vitamins and minerals in my body, so that was great. I did have a chance to check out the adult pool a little bit today. It's small, but it's quiet, and it's just really low key. But there's supposed to be a phone party there tomorrow, so I definitely wanna check that out. And then I have three nights left, and there's three restaurants I really wanna see. There's uh, Japanese, Italian, and a steakhouse. I think I'm going to do them in that order. How cool is this flip flop mango mezcal margarita? It has to be in consideration for drink of the year, just based off creativity alone. These flip flop garnishes are so cool and brilliant. I've never seen anything like this before. I'll tell you what else I've never seen anything like, and that was my dinner at Dozo. It is by far the best Japanese dinner I've had at any all-inclusive. How many have I been to over the past nine months? 15, 20 all-inclusive hotels? This is by far the best Japanese meal, and it's not even close. There's hibachi if you want to do that. I just sat at the sushi bar alone. There was no one else sitting there. I originally started ordering off the menu and then the chef Orlando, who's an amazing guy by the way, I never give shout outs, Orlando is the man. Uh, he said, hey, what do you like? One chef special turned into two, two Orlando specials turned into three, and by the end of the meal, I was floored. I couldn't believe the quality of the meal at Dozo. You know my resume and body of work when it comes to high-end dining, specifically at Asian Japanese restaurants. I would have gladly paid $150 to $200 for that meal. It was that good. And it's at an all-inclusive. Two extraordinary meals back-to-back -back on consecutive nights here at Hyatt Ziva. Good morning. I was gonna give you an update on the beach this morning. However, this update is far too important. And plus, I wanna show you something special from last night. So I'm gonna go inside, give you a quick update, and then we're gonna head down to the beach. So, the fire show from last night was spectacular. It was sensational. They had these ultra talented performers doing these advanced Star Wars, Darth Maul type of moves, but they're fire savers. It was incredible. It was synchronized to a DJ playing awesome music. Uh, it was accented at the end with the pyrotechnic show. It was just unbelievable. Also unbelievable was the way it was set up. They had a full buffet out there, a buffet that would rival any standard buffet at an all-inclusive. It was on the beach. They had drink carts out there. They had tables and chairs. You could watch the show, eat, drink, and sit, relax, and have a great time. After that, I ended up strolling by a tequila bar, and I was told the tequila bar was a la carte. You had to pay extra for it, but that's not true. Yes, if you want some high-end bottles and drinks like a 1942 Don Julio or a Casa de Azul, you have to pay extra for that, but everything else was pretty much free. Free tequila shots, unlimited. I ended up choosing a mezcal that was delicious, and I saw a bottle there that really caught my eye. I had to have it. This is an Exotico Armonia. It is a mezcal. I was attracted to the El Dia de la Muerte skeleton on it. And of course it has a scorpion on the bottom. 
this is going to make a great addition to my collection. All right, so today the plan is to head down to the adult pool this afternoon. They're having what they're calling a bubbles party. I believe that's a foam party. I definitely got to check that out. But before that, I'm going to head down to the beach. So this is the Hyatt Ziva Beach. It reminds me of a large sweeping California beach. It has golden medium grain sands. Uh, of course, you got the Hyatt Ziva building in the background. It acts as a backdrop. You got some cliffs behind me, which really adds some character and dynamic. Uh, there are people behind me playing soccer. Someone's getting a massage. There are hammocks. There are day beds. There are loungers. There are cabanas. But the one major problem is you cannot get in the water. Now the water is stunning. It's that turquoise blue. The wave action is beautiful, but the one problem is there are riptides, and that's why there is not a soul in the water. Cabo really isn't known for the beaches. It's more of a pool destination, but I gotta say, at least in terms of the beach, it's not that bad. That was the Hyatt Ziva pool party at the adult pool. And I must say, it was a pretty great time. I've had worse times at party hotels at their pool parties. So the Hyatt Ziva bubbles party was pretty fun. Um, it truly was a bubbles party. I was hoping for a foam party, foam bubbles. I was thinking maybe it was lost in translation. It truly was a bubbles party and they really didn't add much of an effect at all. But Hyatt Ziva really tried hard with the decorations and the dancers and the DJ and the floaty toys. Hyatt Ziva put forth a lot of effort and it showed. You know, now that I think about it, for a Thursday afternoon at a family hotel, it was a pretty fun time. So it's night number three and you know what that means. Zafiro, the Italian place for dinner. Zafiro from last night. It's an Italian place, outdoor only, beachside. I can't remember the last time I had an Italian dinner beachside. I think probably back in my Carlsbad San Diego days, so it's been a while. Uh, there's one thing you need to know about Zafiro, and that is the meatball. Go there, order that, that's all you need to know. It is the size of a softball. It is magnificent, both in size and in taste. This morning I woke up, I went across the street, there's a convenience store right there, just a simple walk. If you want some alcohol, some water, some juices, some suntan lotion, whatever you need, it's right there. Uh, also across the street is a rental car place. If you want to get out and see some of Cabo, uh, either for the day or for the week, you can rent the car and do that. There's a pharmacy, there's a top rated seafood place, Mara, literally across the street. The area was very safe and very walkable. Uh, this morning I woke up and I went to the gym. It was disappointing. I was expecting more from a hotel of this caliber and of this scale. Don't get me wrong, there's enough there to get the job done for sure. I had a great workout, but I was expecting more from Hyatt Ziva in that category. Uh, also along that line, the room service. Uh, I had to put the room service to the test today. It is good, it's fresh, the quality was great, but the one main problem is the selection. There's really none of it. There's just a few items to order from. Again, I was a little disappointed in that. So it's my last night here. And I should really wind down because I have three hotels left after this. But on the other hand, it's my last night here. I should really seize the night. I could go either way. I'm going to head to dinner, think about it, and we'll see. Dinner last night was crazy, uh, not crazy fun or crazy awesome. It was crazy loud and crazy chaotic. If you ever wondered what it was like eating at a heavy metal rock concert inside a jet engine or maybe inside an industrial mill, 
then go to the steakhouse here at Hyatt Ziva and you will have your answer. It was a two hour wait. The line was not outside the door. It was pretty much outside the hotel. And by the time I got in, it was so loud and chaotic. It took away really any great experience the meal could have. If the food would have been great, I think the experience would have been redeemable, but it wasn't. If you are thinking about coming to the steakhouse here at Hyatt Ziva, stop that thought right now. Go to any other restaurant. And if you've been to all the other restaurants already, go to your favorite one twice. Trust me. So the first part of my video is me trying to have the best time ever. I try to focus on the positives. I don't want to go negative right away. And I try to give you an immersive experience on this hotel. The second part of my video, this part right now, I talk about some positives, some negatives, and I give the hotel a rating. Let's talk about the negatives. Let's get those out of the way. Number one, the Wi-Fi. It just isn't brutally slow or awful. It is the worst Wi-Fi I've had at any hotel ever in my life. It's not just slow, it's non-existent. You can't even connect to the network. When I was able to finally connect at 1 a.m. when the traffic was light, the speed was one megabit per second. That is 1999 dial-up modem slow. I know we're on vacation and we should all try to disconnect, but that isn't a reality in today's world. If you want to try to VPN into your office, do a Zoom call, or even send a short video to a family member or friend, that is not going to happen. What is going to happen is you using all of your mobile data. Number two, this place is loud. And I'm just not talking about the abundance of screaming kids or the busy and bustling crowds, which there are. I'm talking about overall, this place is just very, very loud. Now the pools are a lot of fun. There's great music out there, but the downfall is you're gonna hear that music in your room as if you were blasting it yourself on full volume. If you want any type of serenity, tranquility, or peace, or if you're just looking to take a nap in the afternoon, that is not going to happen. This place is loud. And number three, the service. Now this one is interesting. When you get service here, it's really great but the availability of service is lacking. This place is severely understaffed. There's only one person working at the coffee bar. The coffee bar at Hyatt Ziva, probably one of the most popular places on the entire property. There's one person working. Every time I walked in there, the line was out the door. At the adult pool bar, there's only one bartender there. Every time I went up for a drink, the line was wrapped outside into the pool. Usually at these high-end all-inclusives, it feels like there's more staff than people. They over-service you. That isn't the case at Hyatt Ziva. Hyatt Ziva is severely understaffed. So those are the negatives. Let's talk about the positives. Number one, the food and the drinks. I had two of my best meals of all time at any all-inclusive on back-to-back -back nights here at Hyatt Ziva. I would have settled for one fantastic meal. I had two. If you have discerning food taste or maybe high food standards, you're going to have no problem finding a great bite to eat here at Hyatt Ziva. Number two is walkability. Hyatt Ziva offers just as much as any all-inclusive I've ever been to. There are multiple pools, there's a beach, there are over a half dozen restaurants, multiple buffets, there's a spa, a theater, it has everything. But what makes this place different is how walkable it is. It has such a small footprint, you can get from end to end on the property, from beach to lobby, or anywhere you need to be in just a matter of a few minutes. And lastly, the third big positive is appeal. Hyatt Ziva is going to appeal to everybody and anybody. That's probably why it's the most popular hotel here in Cabo. No matter who you are and what you like to do, you're gonna find something fun or something that you like here at Hyatt Ziva. I don't even like family all-inclusives, quite the opposite, and I had a great time here. If I could have a great time here, anybody can. Ultimately, in the end, the positives here far outweigh the negatives. I'm gonna rate this property a 4.5, which is an outrageous score for me, especially considering this is a family hotel. This place is classy, it is fun, and it is a quality experience. It's no wonder why Hyatt Ziva is the most popular hotel in Cabo.